I did want to mention the lack jobs comment because that to me was the most troubling. This isn't just yeah. misspeaking or saying something that you shouldn't you know, phrase it a certain way. You have to look at what that means. Like, what is he actually trying to say with that? What he's oh, yeah. trying to say is that there are jobs, I guess, in his view that are more suited for black people to have. And these are what the jobs that the immigrants are going to take. That's what he's trying to say. So, yeah. you know, so it isn't like he's saying that, well, immigrants are coming in and taking jobs that black people already have. We have no, he's saying that the kinds of jobs that black people get or should have, I guess, which is very troubling. And I don't think that's being reported on enough. Well, the media, the main the main media may not be reporting on that uh, enough. However, black media and black social media uh, that lit a fire sure. under, under it. Everyone were talk was talking about it, you know, with our black jobs. And then there was the memes came out, you know, over black jobs. And there were two types of memes, you know, memes that went more uh, funny where they showed like uh, Jay-Z in a suit with a do-rag talking about me at my black job. Yeah. Um, but then there was also um, black professionals that started posting means this is me at my black job because in it, most people who were listening understood that that was coded language, coded racist language that he put out there. And it wasn't even very coded. Was, well, it, you, it wasn't very coded from our point of view because we understand what he's saying, right? But his side is going to argue, no, no, that's that's what do you mean? Like he's just talking about things that are uh, someone posted that um, are traditionally or commonly done in the black community. I, I don't know something ridiculous. Well, Marco like Rubio, who might be the VP pick, tried to defend it, and I think he said he was referring to low skilled, low paying jobs. That is the right. insult, though. You're saying but that, that and, these and are that's jobs exactly, that black people have. Right. And that's exactly what he was saying, because that's the idea, that's the mentality. That's what he thinks are are, are jobs that black people should have. Right. Or, or that they're that's that's what he thinks that they're capable of. That's what, what their so abilities. Important. Yeah. 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 And he also said, you know, um, I, I think what's what one thing that is getting missed in that in that discussion, like he said, black jobs. But he also said, again, because he said it twice, if I remember right. Um, and one of the times he said black and Hispanic jobs. So mm -hmm. again, what are Hispanic jobs? Right. right. What are jobs that they're, they're, you know, have to do, you know? Um, and I think people like Trump, people on that side, have that certain image of what they do. And we saw, for example, it, it, for some reason it comes to mind, um, the clip of The View where Ozzy Osbourne's daughter was on there and she thought she was making this great, strong point. And she's like, because Trump was talking about deporting all of the uh, people that came across the border. And she said, well, uh, you know, if you deport all of them, who's going to who's going to uh, mow your yard, Donald Trump? Who's going to? And like the rest of the panels looking at her like, no, that's that's not it. That's right. not it. But people like him and she's been rich her whole life so this is what she's seen in california so this types of things is is very um it's it's yeah. for them it's it's normal language but it's that that specifically racist and bigoted language and we also need to fact check it and the reality is that immigration is actually known to spur job creation immigrants don't come and take people's jobs right 